Join us again if you're just joining us. This is News Hub showing live on Silverbird Television, Silverbird News 24. It's time we talk politics. The 2023 elections, general elections, are drawing pretty closer uh, than, than ever. And the drama continues in the world of politics, you know, from uh, campaigns to rallies to, um, you know, hitting each other <laughs> verbally, one side to the other. This time around, we're taking a specific look at the PDP and the crisis within the PDP ahead of the 2023 elections. We want to find out if this has an impact in any way on the outcome of the 2023 elections. Now, uh, online in Cass Sidiku will be joining us via Zoom to do justice uh, to this particular subject matter. Good morning, Olain Khan. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, uh, I can see your smile, but I can't hear your voice. You might want to unmute uh, your device. Good morning. Let me hear you now. Thank you very much for having me. Good morning. Great. It's, uh, an, it's a pleasure to have you, you know, join us on this conversation. Um, from um, the purported shifting of power to the South and the failure to do so uh, to uh, the presidency, uh, the, the candidate actually who emerged as the president to the picking of the vice president, that's the running mate, and now to the issue of um, the removal of the chairman or not. I mean, it, it, the, the issue seemed to transcend from one particular subject matter to another. I want to get your, your perspective on how far so far with the crisis in the PDP. And uh, let me just get your overview uh, of the issues that have been rocking uh, the, the political party. Oh, thank you very much. Good morning. Um, just like you have um, rightly enunciated, you know, the crisis that we witness in the political parties today is what is happening in Nigeria. The political system is not what is not unexpected. You know, the issues of primaries who become the party, um, candidate of the political parties and um, what, are the, what is the acceptability of that candidate and what is the spread. The, and the reach and the capacity to deliver on, on the part of the candidates. Then it goes for that to say that um, the candidates of the party and their, um, the, the, their, their weight of experience on the issues that we have in Nigeria and um, how they will drive these issues towards national development. The manifesto of the parts of the political parties, the, um, the, 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 the roadmap to, towards achieving what they have in their manifestos are also very important things that have been um, discussed. However, after the primaries, there have been, there have been a lot of issues ranging from whether or not the candidates that emerge from political parties are the right candidates or consolidated candidates for the party and whether or not they have the buy-in or the support of other aspirants in the party. All parties together have had their fair shares of this problem. The PDP, the APC, even the Labour Party have had issues on um, one issue or the other with the um, party representative. So um, it is not um, a new thing. It is always going to be like this in the Nigerian political space. But um, what is more um, worrying is the inability of the political parties um, to resolve their internal um, rankings and the internal political issues. So specifically on the PDP, you know, there have been a question of whether or not the president's, uh, the presidential candidate is um, widely accepted by the other candidates. There have been issue of fairness, there have been issue of um, equity, there have been, there have been issue of um, federal character. You know, so many issues that have been um, going on with that party um, silently and now in the open has escalated above, above the party level and it's not coming probably what I would turn in national discussion. We are you know, back out the presidential aspirant for the PDP who have been known um, for several things, um, but not limited to, um, you know, his ability to be able to drive and unite the party, mm -hmm. his ability to be able to, um, um, you know, um, provide issues, solutions to issues of, um, 
um, fairness in the country, inclusion in the, in, the, in, the, in the country. He has spoken so well about how you want to structure Nigeria, both in the physical and the economic space. Um, he has said so many things, but the question has become whether or not a, a candidate who wants to unite his um, who wants to unite Nigeria can unite his party. So it's a question of whether or not that Atiku Abakaro is the person for the job or the PDP is ready to take our power from the uh, All right, uh, um, uh, Sidiko, well, fantastic opening you just gave us. Um, you ran through uh, all that um, the PDP seem to be going through at the moment. Now, still staying with your perspective to the conversation, the G5 has emanated from all of this converse, all this all of this controversy it all began from the primaries uh, the g5 uh, seemed to have its foothold or rather is is uh is a position hinged on the activities or what transpired at the primaries the g5 is not giving they're not giving up and it seemed difficult for the party to fix this particular issue now your perspective to this will be tell me would it be that uh, or rather, how how can the party move on? There are indications that uh, uh, the party is a lot more more fixated on dealing with this issue than moving forward as campaigning for the election. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of difficulty hearing what you're saying. Sorry. Okay, can you hear me now? Can you yeah, hear I, me? I can, I can manage now. Okay, now the the, the party seems uh, the PDP seems fixated at dealing with this is, the issues around the G five, which is a major concern uh, for the party uh, moving moving forward. How much do you think this will impact the operations uh, the operations of the party as we move towards um, the elections are going forward? Okay, I think we're having some some challenges there with uh, yep. with um, the audio for for Sidiku. But then this conversation is one that is not going any anywhere anytime soon. Uh, at the point in time, you hear uh, that the presidential candidate of the of the people of the PDP is making moves at meet, reaching out to uh, uh, the G5 governors. Uh, but then the G5 governors are, are not uh, seem to be coming forth with. Um, you know, a solution to this to this concern. Messi, uh, the party seems fixated right now. It doesn't seem to be moving any any, any forward uh, with um, their election activities, their campaign activities. Yes, they flagged off in um, a quiet bomb a couple of uh, weeks ago. But then, what? How much have you heard of the PDP uh, going forward? Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, people within the party, party loyalists and party members will tell you that. No, it's not true. This is just a misunderstanding. It is not a crisis. And they will tell you that we, 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 are, we, we are moving forward. We're going on. We have challenges, but yet we are moving forward to ensure that we clinch the ticket come 2023. But that's one issue. Another thing is the presidential, the, the presidential uh, candidate of the party um, is it's more like stuck in the middle mm. between... Ah, you can stay and continue this thing. Mm. And I also need you guys to continue with me mm. in this journey towards the presidency. Let's put our hands together and get it out. Uh, we don't really expect that he would leave everything he's doing, the campaigns, moving around from state to state, to come plead with the G5 and the followers of the G5. It sounded a few weeks ago that if it sounded like, you know, and even political analysts were saying, it looks like Atiku has moved on, mm -hmm. you know, from this whole charade, mm -hmm. from this whole fight over Ayu and the rest of them, and is going with the campaign. But the question remains, the influence that the governors have over their the the catchment area, yes. um, if this is not sorted out before the election, mm -hmm. how much impact are those minus votes Mm. right going to have on the overall outcome of the pdp they're going to tell you now nah, nothing they are not leaving the pdp they're not saying they're leaving the party they just want you know um, the chairman uh, to, to leave and the chairman himself is saying i was brought in here by the party's constitution and so i stay mm. and so the back and forth continues the back and forth continues the only thing we can do right now is to probably keep our fingers crossed and keep watching to see how this is going to come out but 
but but we're looking at Atiku, Okowa, and how much this is not not just them; it's going to affect them. Also, the 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 um, the, other the, positions. the states, yeah, other positions. yes, in which you know the PDP is also occupying. You know, the the, the five governors. You know, talk about Rivers. Uh, talk about Inugu State, Abia State, Ikpazu, and uh, Oyo Oyo State, uh, uh, and Benue State, State as well. Yes. Um, how much impact is that going to have? Is it just noise making? Does it come you with, know, you know, with you some know, substance? You know, you, know, you cannot take away the influences of these governors um, uh, within their states. They have uh, the power of incumbency. They have the machinery of the state uh, to a large extent. Uh, they, they, can, they, can, they can decide which way the pendulum swings in terms of um, elections in, in their state. So uh, I'm, I'm not sure it is going to be in the very best interest of the PDP if they think, if they think that they can do without the G5 five governors. I'm not sure it's going to be in the best interest because mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's beginning to look like these um, activities of the G5 is working, working for the opposition. Because you could tell that uh, uh, the strength of uh, the People's Democratic Party has been weakened. You know this Daily. happened. You know this happened with the new PDP. Oh yes, back then, in back then 20, yeah. 15 or twenty nineteen. Twenty, uh, just 2015. before twenty fifteen. Yes, yes. The new PDP. The N NPDP. And a cut shot there. You know the the. Their votes. The alliance, the yes. strong alliance they formed. You know, it broke it and gave the leeway to the ruling party to come in and do what they, you know, what they know how to do best. And yeah. at this point, a lot of people are going to say. I think it's high time that you, you cut aside your differences because there's a common good, there's a common interest. Like they say in politics, no permanent friends, no permanent, uh, no uh, permanent enemies, just but, permanent yeah. interests. There's one goal that they have, to move Nigeria forward, but like they've always been saying. See, sadly, Messi, is the fact that uh, this G5 had not even come to say, okay, we are no longer part of the PDP. And maybe, so they have maybe, said they are not leaving now. Yes, exactly. Maybe if they leave, the party now understands what the battles are for them. Now, they are not leaving, they are not working for the party. So, yeah. by extension, they are probably working against the party. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the definition I'm going to give here by implication. You're not leaving, you're not working for the party, then what are you doing in the party? That's what they call a quagmire. It is indeed a quagmire for the People's Democratic Party and then the presidential candidate, um, Alaji Atiku Abubakar. Uh, we are really hoping that we could get um, Sidiku back. Let's get his perspective uh, uh, to this conversation. That is exactly why. Okay, uh, Sirico is back on the line. Uh, sorry, we lost you there a while ago. I hope you can hear us now. I hope you can hear us, Olenka. Okay, fantastic. So I, I, I was asking you that, uh, do you think the PDP is moving forward without the G5? Um, it's 100 days to the election. Do you think they are indeed moving forward without the G5? Thank you very much. I, I think it is um, to be difficult to say that um, they are moving forward without the G5. Because if you look at it very well, this is the presidential election that we are looking at. Um, everybody needs to come aboard. And just like you have mentioned, you know, during your um, during, during our conversation earlier, you said um, that it's very, very important to see that the unity in the PDP is ascertained before um, they can come to convince Nigeria about voting for their presidential candidates. So it's very important. You see, it's just the question of fairness, the question of equity. equity. So um, if you must have a party who is ready to take power from APC, APC is very, very strong now. You know, despite the fact that um, they have their own internal and their own external issues, but they are still more vibe, more united, and more you know, out there when you compare them to what the PDP is doing now. Obviously, obviously, the, the issues um, in the PDP is affecting their, um, their, their campaign. So they need everybody to come out to support the presidential candidate. It is not a one man show. That's what they've been talking about. The, Five governors they are saying that uh, they want fairness, they want to be carried along, they want beginner expectation, they want um, they want um, control. So, and this is all about keeping your promises. 
if the presidential candidate made progress to um, chief and governors, we should be able to find a way to compromise and for them to be able to um, be assume them to come on board to come and join the, 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 the campaigns. They need to be strong governors. I, I'm not sure the PDP can move forward without this government. I, I very much doubt it. I very, very much doubt it. But I call River State is a very, very important ground for the PDP to take. Venue State is very, very um, viable ground for PDP to take. Um, on those, I mean, sorry, on your state is very, very important ground for them to take. If you look at this state, there are all strategic locations where if PDP do not win in that, um, in those locations, they will have issues of winning the presidency. Just as simple as that. So everybody needs to come on board. They need to find um, a, a, a common front, come support their presidential candidate and move on from there. I know there have been moves for them to unite the party. I know there have been moves for the G governor, the G5 governors to come um, come on board, but they are still very clearly what they wanted. They wanted the, um, they said clearly that they wanted the chairman, chief of the party to move away from the north to the south. If there's nothing to do about that, I'd be very, very vocal about it. And if you look at it for further character purposes, for fairness and for equity, just that, that, that you asked me, you would argue that yes, um, you should do something about it. Just like the APC have done, APC moved far from the north to the south. You know, that is a very important political move for them, and they're looking at winning. So if you want to win, you don't go without um, your, 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 your people, whether they are agreed or, or not. You have to. Um, uh, absolutely allowing her, uh, they have to try as much as possible to ensure that, you know, they get to put hands together to make it work. And I'm wondering, if, I, I like the fact that you mentioned earlier on about, you know, um, um, the IU's case. And it, it would be good uh, for you to give us a perspective on what the foundation of the problem really is. Because a lot of people, you know, different opinions. Uh, it's either from the president not going to the south, to the, to the, to the so southern part of Nigeria, uh, to the emergence of, uh, we know the drama that happened with the emergence of uh, 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 the, the running mate, Okoa. And then now this issue of what really, is it a combination of all the issues put together that's, you know, uh, the outbursts now, Point. The, uh, the, the, the issues are not all connected. They are all connected to um, the problems that happened before the families. They, they wanted the power to shift to um, the south, obviously. They wanted the power to shift to the south. They felt like the north, I mean, the G5 governors now, they felt that they should not have had their fair share, then the um, south should also um, be allowed to. To, to lead the country, firstly the party and lead the country. So that is the, um, the, the that's where the issue started from. Then what transpired at the at the convention, that's where the idea of Tamba is in loose like right, uh, the betrayer to the G5 of arrangements. You know, apparently have the candidates in mind, which is of course Governor Nike, but it turned out that Governor Nike did not uh, you know clinch the party nominee for the uh, presidential election, then you see that the outburst uh, that followed that um, primary was not um, something that the primary escalated and it becomes something that um, the media started reporting about. From what I believe to us from the media and from what we have seen as analysts, I can tell you that the issues are not unconnected. They are connected to the issues of primary, whether or not you want to agree or not. Some governors are not still not happy that um, Atiku Abubakar became the, nomin the party nominee to run for president. That said, the G G5 governor agreed that oh, they, they can move on and still work with the presidential candidate of the party. That they say, that, that they say, nobody can confirm that that's true or not. So they said now that the presidential candidate cannot come from the same region as um, the chairman of the party. And they are saying that in all our famous to them, they are saying that for peace, equity, fairness, and for the issue of federal character to be resolved, there has to be a still where the party chairman, Mr. Ali, would um, come down, then another person from the south would become the uh, party chairman. And if you look at what they are asking, they are saying that the, the, the presidential candidate should do it right now. That if he cannot commit himself to changing what the um, 
party is asking for before the election, how are you sure that you're going to do it immediately after the election? And you see, politics, you know, it is always very important that you come on board with your water tight, um, you know, um, um, what do you call it? Points, you know, that are used to drive the political change and ambition before the election. Because immediately after the election, and we are also aware that they have shared all the posts. So we see a lot of issues that are up. So if 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 they do not get what they want now, which is equity, which is fairness, which is um the issue of federal character, the peace PDP want will not come. But I'm I'm sure they are still discussing. I'm sure that they are also um, um you know claims that they are open to conversation and they are open to changing their stance only if the presidential candidate will not only commit himself to doing what he said he would do. Of course, we don't know whether that is true, but that is what he said that he has promised to do. But if he can commit himself to what he said he would do and make it true, then they will come back to party and support the party candidates. But the question really is, will they be able to um, fight and um, support the candidates after all the outputs that you have seen from the media, after what you have heard from them directly, after all the bantas, after the, all the name callings, how would they convince the engineer that they can change that sense of things, the kind of things? How, how can they convince the that they can do that? Then how on earth will you come out and tell Nigeria that what you said about this Japan Chama who is very corrupt has changed, that is no longer corrupt? Will you, will, how you meet that party? Will BK Autumn Makede and other governors, respectively, come to um, the fore with new ideas, new ideas, new, new innovation, new new speaking points to convince Nigeria that they can do something different, different from what they have said that the party is about. And that is the question that Nigeria should ask them whether we will be eventually come together to. I believe that they can come to that second, but will they? Have had the, um, they have the right words to convince the idea that um, the party is not together. All united. You know, uh, uh, like, uh, how convinced are you? Uh, because you did say uh, that uh, the, 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 the fight is a combination of issues that transpired or that began at the primaries. How convinced are you that, say, tomorrow, of the candidate, the presidential candidate of the PDP, uh, decides that um, the chairman should go. Are you convinced that this will bring about the desired peace? What would happen to the trust deficit that the party seems to seem to enjoy, or rather, with the party seem to have at the moment? That, that, that's the fantastic question. Uh, that leads to the same. Nobody can say exactly what how that will play out for now. But from what's available to us as analysts, we uh, we believe that if these people come together and they uh, they are ready to work for um, their their candidate, they will find a way. Politicians always find a way to get things done. They will find a way to you know uh, to uh, stage marriage things and make it look like everything is well until I find where, where if eventually they, do, they can pick up their crisis from there and see how they, they will solve the issues. However, this is very important. I personally do not see how they will come back and tell them that those things that have said about themselves um, have changed. I, I find it difficult to understand that um, WK, Governor WK um, would go with um, the party candidate everywhere in the past. There are other things that, said that, that have said about the candidate about him not being able to unite the party, about him not being able to make good his words, about him not being able to, um, you know, achieve the peers um, and, and build the trust and build the, um, the, the, the middle of his capacity to be able to, you know, unless and, and frontline all candidates. How they will be able to convince Nigeria that now it's now the person that can do the job to unite Nigeria to tackle the issue of. Um, the security that is seen everywhere in Nigeria today, the, the issue of um, eth ethnic bigotry, the issue of nationalism you know, that is seen everywhere in Nigeria today. I, I find it difficult to see how they will be able to explain that this candidate will be the person to do that. But 
like I said, this needs to be seen. We can see how they spin this around uh, to, 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 to convince Nigeria that um, Elijah as far as black as he was in, that is the, the best candidate for, for the job. But if you compare it to other candidates, like I said earlier, all the political parties have issues, one issues or the other is that internal um, affairs. So um, I think you know, that would be a good place to start for them. They will tell you the party issue that is in other parties. They will tell you that this is a personal issue in the Philippines and the result and the party is going to move forward as well. They will even accuse you um, media um, personalities whether or not you are happy with the Iran's internal ranking that has been happening in the party. But, but why can't you just move on from what has happened and to the new reality of the PDP who's won? They will tell you that they have this history of having Rappers in the past that have been able to resolve it. That if they are able to resolve this issue, why would they be able to resolve the Nigeria issue? And the Nigeria issue are even more than the PDP. So that, and that is an analysis that we have and we put forward that the PDP will be playing on to, to say that things, will, things have changed and things are going to move on better. So we we'll wait and see. We need to be sure what they will say. Question, Alanka. If they can solve the internal issues going on, how can they bring the solution to the wider society, which is Nigeria at large? I mean, that's a food for thought uh, for um, everybody, including people at the party, because that's how Nigerians probably would be taking a look at this. This reconciliation is taking pretty long to, you know, to happen. And from your perspective, do you think this is enough to negatively impact? the outcome of the opposition, you know, COP 2023 is just about a hundred and some days away. Thank you. You see, the issue that the PDP has is just part of the issue that Nigeria has. I mean, apart from the economic issue, the social impact, the issues that we have, we have the security issues that we have in Nigeria. We have the issue of equity, we have the issue of fairness to reach, we have the issue of Nigeria character, you know, these are the issues that we have in Nigeria also. So it's not far from the issues that we have in Nigeria. But if one asks you if these issues are going to negatively impact on the um, outcome of the election, definitely yes. It will have a dire effect on the ability of the opposition to be able to take power from the APC. If you look at the APC the, the, the candidate and the, the, the political party themselves, the way they are campaigning, moving around the country, you ask yourself whether, whether or not they are the one in the opposition. <laughs> because you know they are they are way more united than every other political parties. They are trying everything every, everything possible to unite the party every day. They are moving around, doing all sorts of things. So these are the things that are expected that are actually expected of the opposition party. But when you don't see all these things from the opposition party parties, they now become the question of whether or not they are able to power. So Nigeria needs to be rescued right now. But who will rescue Nigeria? Is it this CDP? That are having issue of peace, the issue, people that have issue of um, you know a successful um, attempt to unite the party, you know, they're having general supremacy issues, you know, they're having you know issue of being able to keep their commitment, to keep their word. How would they change the like, to that change issue? It is difficult to answer, but you know, political will be of spinning things around. But we need to be seen, we'll see how they, they will spin this one. But Nigeria starts to, 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 to see as a the year from there. Apart from their political um, issues, apart from their manifestos that they are going to respect in Nigeria, they are still going to tell Nigeria what they are going to do to them. How are they going to be able to, 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 to um, tell Nigeria that they are going to live in Nigeria? So it is difficult to ask. It is indeed a deep-rooted issue for the PDP. Now, how all this will impact the next election remains to be seen. Now, if there's anything the party must do to change the narrative, it has to be done like yesterday. Siriko Layinka, thank you for your time with us on uh, uh, this segment of the show. He is a political analyst. Uh, thank you once again. We'll, we'll touch base with you again in the nearest future. We apologize for the breaking transmission a while ago. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I did also apologize for the breaking transmission. I'm sorry for that. Thank you very, very much for having me. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, people, we will go on a quick break. When we come back, we will still be 
stayed with issues around uh, the 2023 election, but this time uh, it will be another uh, uh, opposition party uh, that will be joining us on the show to give us perspectives to our conversations making the rounds within the party at the moment. Don't go away. News up continues shortly. <laughs>